Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial results you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that will help set you up for a successful growing season. Today we're going to talk about soybean singulation. You know, for years, many years, we've always thought of singulation, as far as planting goes, was always about corn, getting that perfect picket fence stand of corn. But what about soybeans? And I guess an interesting thing has happened in the industry with farmers as populations of soybeans have come down over the last, say, five years. And we've had these conversations at the PTI farm as growers from around the world have come out to see some of the trials that we're working on. And in the past, populations have been so high on soybeans, it took an 80-cell disc to get the populations that farmers wanted. So this 80-cell disc, we've got two, two rows of holes all the way around this disc. The, the seeds are going to be um, locked and loaded into these holes, and that's going to give us enough seeds to get the high populations growers wanted in the past. But, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of growers are coming in saying, you know what, I think I've been planting my, my soybeans too heavy. I want to decrease. And so now we've got growers that, you know, I think probably the uh, uh, popular uh, population on soybeans is maybe uh, 100 to 125,000 in a lot of cases, depending on row width. So at Precision Planting, we, we saw growers reducing their seeding rates and we said, hey, wait a minute. Let's go away from this 80 cell disc with the two rows of holes all the way around it and go to a 56 cell disc that's got one row of holes all the way around and now we can think about singulating just like again, like we've done with corn for so many years. So at the PTI farm, we set out, set out to put a study in where we're comparing both of these, these plates, the old 80 cell again with the two rows all the way around versus the 56, a single where we can just picket fence plant the soybeans and try to get singulations just like corn. And so here's a nice picture we took from the PTI farm this year. This is using this 56 cell plate and look at the spacing on these soybeans. It's, it's just we're really, we really have the opportunity to singulate these now, space them apart far enough. And I guess what, how I like to think about this is as that soybean plant is starting to mature, she's got some elbow room and says, hey, wait a minute, now maybe I can offer some lateral branching that can offer us some extra nodes per plant, which would, would lead to extra yield per plant. So let's take you to some of the, the, the data that we're looking at. Here's, a, again, the picture of the 56-hole disc compared to the 80-cell 80, 80 disc. And we took them out to the field this year, and we looked at populations from 50,000 seeds per acre. These were in 30-inch rows, 50,000 popu uh, population seeding rates, all the way up to 150, okay? So a 3x rate compared to that 50. And what we found is this past year at the PTI farm is that the 56 cell plate beat the 80 cell. So singulating soybeans won. That theory, that concept, agronomic concept beat the non-singulation in every single population at PTI. We averaged about a 1.2 bushel yield gain. If you take that times the price of soybeans, we're at over a $10 net profit by being able to singulate soybeans. And guys, I think this is an easy one. I guess as we look at planting soybeans, especially if you're a grower that have, has been reducing soybean seeding rates, singulating is offering us 1.2 bushel yields with over $10 yield gains. So today's Inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is singulating soybeans is now possible today. And it could give growers that extra edge to create consistent soybean stands and hopefully we can drive soybean yields and profitability higher. Well, that's all the time we have today for Inside PTI. For more information or questions, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer or you can email us at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. In the meantime, thanks for watching.